Tonight, the Miami Valley continues to recover following last week's tornado outbreak. But aside from all the physical destruction, storms can also leave a lasting mark on kids. So in this week's Family 411, I show you how you can help them cope. It just hit. I, I heard the crack of lightning and the thunder, and then the wind started, and then we just hunkered down, and then just came across us. The tornado over in seconds. My biggest fear was, like, the wind taking one of my children, being able to hang on to them tight enough. But the storm's emotional impact on Beth Wentz and her kids is still lingering. They lost their Northridge home, their belongings, and their sense of security. I have a hard time sleeping right now. Like, I, I shut my eyes, and um, that's all I can hear. Like, I'm sleeping about three hours a night. I just have a lot of anxiety from living through it. It's, it's staying with me and my kids pretty bad. Even for kids who weren't in the direct path, hearing stories like that can rattle them. Dr. Jeremiah Schum is an associate professor of psychology at Wright State University and says those feelings are natural. But with time, recovery typically happens on its own. Really, there are things that people can do without professional intervention that can be very helpful. So um, talking to loved ones, um, you know, talk, talking to your, your neighbors or people that you feel comfortable with. Um, the thing that we advise not doing is we certainly do not want to stuff down our emotions. Dr. Schum says suffering in silence can interfere and in some cases keep recovery from happening at all, potentially leading to more serious problems like PTSD. That's why he encourages parents to keep lines of communication open. I think um, talking to your children, kind of highlighting that, um, first of all, that, you know, at, at this point in time, the event is over. We're, you know, it's, it's safe. Um, and that, um, that, yes, there was a lot of damage, but at this point in time, you know, highlighting all the efforts that we, we see where people are helping out and um, helping each other out as a community. Dr. Schum says focusing on positives and getting back to a routine will also help. Just make sure you give yourself time. It was the scariest thing I've ever been through in my life. I just, I, I thought we were going to die. I'm blessed, so blessed to be here. Now, the doctors we spoke with say it's normal for the trauma of something like this, a natural disaster, for it to linger for days or even weeks. However, if you notice your child is still struggling with the effects months road, it may be time to seek professional help.